I do have to stress that because you guys can do it on your own and so on and so forth, these little motors pull an enormous amount of current, okay? Um, these batteries are capable of putting out a whole lot more. So if you get a short, little Bobby and little Susie are going to get hurt. Now, I can't stress this enough. Safety has to be first no matter what, unless you just want to build it and put it in a glass display case. But chances are little Billy and little Susie will find it. They'll get the keys and off they go to Vegas. So please do not take this lightly. If some wire gets worn through, it hits down on ground, shorts out, something like that, uh, a kid could get burned. So right at the power source, right where the battery is at, you have to have circuit breakers. It's extremely important. Once it goes beyond anything beyond what it's normally supposed to pull, which I will get the information on that as well, it will just disrupt the power flow. And then essentially beyond uh, this connector, this, this clip right here, and the battery, it won't go any further than that. There's no possible way that anything can happen except for the trunk could get hot. That's the, the worst possible case scenario. But, um, you know, in all electric cars, in all gasoline powered vehicles and so on and so forth, there is a potential danger. And as long as you don't take that lightly, everything could be just perfectly okay. Now I'm going to pick up the camera here and I'm going to show you the way the car looks so that you have some idea. Now this is of course without the um, the rear section in it. Now we're looking right now at the uh, the battery receptacle in the back is just a plate of aluminum and there is the clips inside and you just pop the batteries in there and now if you lift it up right here you can see underneath I got uh, I got two circuit breakers I got a terminal block in the middle there and essentially everything is super solid and everything like that but uh, truth be known the whole thing has to be co uh, covered by a housing to prevent anything from happening now <clears throat> I used uh, solid copper wire for these things that have no movement at all and I made double sure that they were tight they were crimped they were soldered uh, nailed t stapled you name it I you know made sure everything was as, as kosher and copacetic as can be now uh, in the preliminary setup the way I have it is that there is this core support runs down the middle and you can see there's wires attached right here and that goes down the length into the inside that connects the front with the back and here you have the pedals right here right you got the one motor on the right and the other motor on the left uh, you could tie the two pedals together and uh, here's the steering column which is uh, ball bearings inside of an aluminum tube with a stainless steel shaft that runs down the middle of it and you can see possibly down inside there I made my own spindles I welded lugs on the inside and uh, that's the way that's set up right there I got heim joints in the front for the tie rods and uh, the steering wheel is still stock that's still the original steering wheel right there and uh, I'm going to flip it over on its side so you could take a look what I've done so far. Now, in the back here, that's where the rear axle essentially sits inside. This is the other half of the cooling housing. And uh, right there you can see the holes where the power comes through, essentially from here through there, right? And then it connects to the motor. So when everything gets pushed down inside here, they poke out right here and you make your connections on either side. This is just a piece of angle aluminum. You can see there's two of them screwed together. Here you can see the back of the screws. And for the preliminary design, I have the cable directly attached via the top right here. And if you look inside, if you don't mind, I'll show you. <coughs> it's a very simple kind of nut right there pull the wheel off and you could see I have a computer like a Pentium 
a computer CPU heatsink. And on the one side I have one uh, MOSFET and on the other side I have the other one.